Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review and it is the final Flux Friday so I'm reviewing The Vanquishers. So, this is the sixth chapter in the Flux series. So, in this, uh, the Centaurans have taken over Earth and wiped out the Lapari, so Carvinistus species, and they're pretty much in control here, and they're letting the Flux destroy things around the Earth that is protected by the Lapari ships. And the Doctor, you know, is split into three different points in his in the universe where she gets Yaz, Dan and Jericho back with her and she also gets Claire Brown back so we see Claire again and uh, we also you know, see another doctor you know again the same doctor in the ship where Tactoon was and also, we just see as well the Doctor fighting against the Centaurans, so there's a lot of complicated stuff going off. But everything that we've seen throughout the Flux comes together full circle and the Doctor has to fight them. She deals with the Grand Serpent and the Centauran. She saves the day and the universe. They find a way to destroy the Flux by having it consumed by a robot slave droid or what have you, where Vinder and Diana have been and you know the Doctor and Kate see each other again and Kate likes her female persona uh, Jericho makes a sacrifice and destroys the Centauran ship with himself on board and Claire she gets returned to her rightful place in time in 2021 and then at the end of course the Doctor as invites Dan to come aboard the TARDIS and then the Doctor wants to tell Yaz everything, and then at the end we see the Doctor with the FOD watch making the decision should she open it or not, but then tells the TARDIS to hide it from her because she doesn't want to know the answers or anything. So that is pretty much the story, so what did I like? Well, I like that this was the finale. It was the last in the Flux series. Uh, we got a few answers tied up like, you know, Spore, Swarm and his sister Azur, you know, got their comeuppance, we see the Centaurans just wanting war as usual, and we get cameos from the Daleks and the Cybermen. Um, so yeah, the plot in this was a mess. Everything was all over the place because it just was. And there was a lot of complicated things to follow in this, but I think I got the gist and I followed it. I thought our performances from everyone was great, Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor, playing three different versions of the Doctor before they reunited, and then we get like, you know, the Doctor meeting Time, who takes on her shape, tells her that there's no chance of regeneration, so I liked Whittaker's performance mainly. Uh, I thought that Mandip Gill and... Um, you know, John Bishop were good in this, in their roles. But I also like the characters of Claire and Professor Jericho as well. I feel they did a lot more helping the Doctor than... Yeah, they, they, they were great in this too. I also liked Carvinista, his character, him now being the last of his kind and mourning his kind. And also, Vinda and Belle finally reuniting and then them at the end getting their happy ending and having... You know, Carvinista go off with them. So they're off as a trio. So I wonder if they'll pick up on that, whether they'll give them like an audio spin-off or something. I don't know, but I wonder if we'll ever see them again. Um, so I thought our performers were were good in this. Bit of mixed emotions, bit mi in that. But all in all, essentially, I like the main focus on the cast. I thought this had good visuals, but I felt that they were too reliant on them as this was you know, drowned in visual effects. Um, but, yeah, we even see... Well, everyone gets their just desserts, but we still don't get answers on the whole thing with the Doctor's FOD watch, which I feel is frustrating to some, but to me, yeah, I'm not sure about that either. 
But I like that this was the finale. It was an explosive finale. It went out in a bang. And yeah, it was an enjoyable series, The Flux. And I don't think we'll get a serial like you know, a series like this for a good while, because last time they did something like this was the trial of a Time Lord with Colin Baker. You know, where the whole series was one continuous story. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the flux and I enjoyed rewatching it for these reviews and it has been a fun one. So yeah, what am I going to rate this one? Shall I just get straight to the ratings? The performances, I'll give them an eight. The visuals, I'll give it an eight. Um, the writing, I feel was a bit of a mess. Like I say, too much going on. I'll give it a seven on my personal I'll give it an 8. So there you go. There has been my whole review on the Flux Vanquishers and my whole reviews on the Flux. So, have you seen Doctor Who Flux and all six episodes? Let me know down in the comments below. You can watch all this series so far on my channel. It's all linked. So yeah, uh, I've enjoyed doing Flux Friday. It's been a commitment, I, I can tell you that. But all in all, it's been good. So... Um, yeah, so from next week, my Who Review Saturdays, you know, Saturday where I put up a Who Review or a video on Saturday will return. So videos are going to go back to Tuesday and Saturdays now, not Tuesdays and Fridays because I finished the flux now. So there you go. So yeah, that's it for this one. Flux Friday, the whole series of Flux Friday. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you're new here and if you and hit that notification bell. I've been Davros the Hoovian. This has been Who Review Flux Friday. So until next time, run for your life.